Data virtualization offers a single logical point of access, making it a unified security layer. As it avoids point-to-point -point connections from consuming applications to the information sources and acting as a single point of access for applications, it is the ideal place to enforce access security restrictions that can be defined in terms of the canonical model with a very fine granularity. Using the Denota platform, it is possible to enforce secure access from consumer applications to final data sources end-to-end. -end. Denota Platform 8 and its components can be accessed by different types of users. Being the administrator of the Denota platform, we would need to ensure that the system is well protected and is only accessed by trusted users. Virtual Data Port provides several advanced security features to ensure that the system is safe and secure. Donato Platform 8 incorporates various security features related to authentication and authorization, which includes creating users, roles, masking the data, etc. It also uses different security protocols for securing the connections which access the virtual data port layer or a virtual data port accesses other data sources. In a security management course, we are going to learn about the different security concepts. In the initial section of the course, we will learn how administrators can manage the users who are accessing the Denoto platform or its components. To ensure that access rights are maintained, administrators can delegate the authentication to an Active Directory system such that the users of AD can access the Denoto platform. Also, it is possible to create users and roles in the virtual data port and further the security can be enhanced by granting different levels of privileges for the users or roles. With different access rights in place, the amount of information which can be exposed to different users can be controlled by the administrator. For instance, if developers must be able to access the employee-related view, but not be able to see the entire data in that view, like salary details, then those details can be masked using the advanced privileges offered by the Denota platform. We will learn in depth about these features in the modules displayed in the slide. In the next section of this course, we will learn how administrators can enable single sign-on in the Denota platform using Kerberos or different identity providers. This allows users to log into different Denota platform components without providing their credentials again in a secure fashion. We will have one specific module for Kerberos authentication and another one for other single sign-on mechanisms using an identity provider as shown in the slide. We will end this course by reviewing some other mechanisms available for securing the connections on the data virtualization layer as virtual data port can secure the access from consumers to sources in a secure and encrypted manner. Generally, the consumers either connect to the Denota platform which is known as northbound connection or Denota platform connects to different data sources which are known as southbound connections. In either of the cases, the data can be protected and made secure such that it moves seamlessly from one point to another without compromising the security. Certain protocols, depending on the connection, can be set up to achieve this level of security. Protocols like TLS, HTTPS, SFTP, etc. can be configured and used in the Denoto Platform 8. The modules displayed in the slide will cover the different topics about securing connections when the data is in movement or the data is in rest.